Welcome back guys to another Boom Beach video back again on my low level account. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to take out Colonel Gearheart's War Factory level 45. So after you defeat this event and I think you need the weapon lab unlocked then you will unlock Colonel Gearheart's weekly War Factory which is a great event to get prototype parts. So today I'm going to be showing you how to defeat this base. I'm not going to be using warriors. I'm going to change my combination here in a second, but I do want to show you guys one thing. First of all, this whole right hand side is pointless. You're going to avoid it completely. Every single time someone goes in on this base, they're going to go and they're going to take it out from above because there's minimal defenses and I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do that. Now, I've done it before using all Zookas. I'll link that video here if you would rather use that combination. But in today's video, I'm going to be using all tanks. So we're going to be defeating Colonel Gearheart's base using tanks. Now, I don't think you need as many tanks as me. We'll see in today's video at the end. I'll kind of give you some rough estimates based on how well I do. I don't really know how well this is going to go. You're going to look at this Doom Cannon range. We need to avoid this at all costs. So we're actually going to take down these cannons. Now time is going to be kind of an issue, so we need to act somewhat fast. So we're just going to drop our tanks in the corner here. And you know what? Let's drop a smoke. We'll be fine. And then we'll drop a flare up top and we'll drop some more smokes. Now we're also going to want to shock the boom cannons and the shock blaster. And we're going to flare pretty close to the defenses because I do want them to target all of the defenses and not have to move. We're going to keep shocking the shock blaster. That thing is an issue. And we're going to shock the boom cannon. And as soon as we take down these defenses, we're going to flare up and we're going to hit the core. And it's honestly a really easy hit. Back in the day, I showed everyone how to do... Okay, we got to flare to this last one. We might lose a couple. My first flare wasn't close enough, and the Doom Cannon's in range. Okay, let's retreat a little bit, guys. And now I'm too close to those cannons. Let's have a flare over. It's a learning experience for me also. So, you can do this using Zookas. If you prefer Zookas, go ahead. It's just kind of a hard hit, and you need to be pretty precise. So, I'm gonna just grab some energy here. Just in case, I need to do some more reflares. There we go. And now we're going to start hitting the core. We're going to make sure that doesn't twitch. It did twitch. Are you kidding me? Drop the flare back. I just, I need to get to that nice little sweet spot. And I'm going to hit, get hit again here. Watch. Oh no. Dang. Super nice. Okay. Flare to the core. I'm not in range of any of the defenses. The cannons are not in range, and the Doom Cannon is not in range. Now, after this battle, I'm going to watch a replay and show you the ranges of the cannons of the Doom Cannon and kind of show you where you have to park now that I did the attack. But you'll see here, I'm fine. Like, energy wasn't an issue. Damage wasn't an issue. Health really isn't an issue. So anytime you attack this base, I would say make sure you have 2, 4, 6... 8, 10, maybe about 10 tanks and you'll be fine. And you could probably even go down to 8 tanks. I would just make sure some of your boats can't hold multiple tanks because I really don't think 6 tanks are going to be enough to defeat this base. And on a different note, I'll show you my statue boost in a second so you'll see what I'm rocking. But honestly, you could do this without any offensive boost. But there we go, War Factory level 45 is down now i'm gonna start getting colonel gearhart's now i'm gonna start getting the war factory base which i love it's a fun event but there we go we got a ton of ice stuff gearhart industries will consolidate right here my next base will be five times as tough and you'll get five attacks if you don't know and uh, she actually goes to lieutenant hammerman and designs all the operation bases but there we go we get a ton of loot we get a bunch of medals and then we get the ice stuff which is pointless for me because i'm going more the offense route but there we go and that is how you unlock captain everspark so finally we got everspark and we're going to be using her and it's just a good time and over here these are my statue boosts i'll show you what they are added up i was on boosted there we go that's it added up you could pause the video if you want and then we're gonna speed it up here so you can see the ranges um, I probably didn't need the smoke on the beach. Kavan probably wouldn't have died if I didn't put the smoke on the beach just because he would have stayed with my tanks a lot more. 
But there we go. All of these defenses are getting taken out. The boom cannon was in range. So if you place your first flare over where my top two tanks are, that'll probably be better because then your tanks will target all of the defenses and you won't need that secondary flare. That's the needle you need to thread if you want to use tanks. And it's kind of the same thing if you're gonna attack the base using all the Zookas. So depending on which combination you want, I prefer the tanks just because I like not losing my entire army if I make a small little mistake. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please drop a like if you enjoyed it and uh, let me know what you wanna see me do on this low level account next. Bye guys.